Good day, folks. Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little video for you today. Yesterday was a big day for DJI. They launched the Mavic 4 Pro and the new RC Pro 2. But we also got some other updates for the DJI Fly app and the RC2. But let's go ahead and we're going to start with the Fly app to see what's new. You can see the new version is 1.17.0. And the main changes for the Fly app is that it now adds support for the Mavic 4 Pro. But one really new interesting feature is the ability to sync waypoint missions. It will now automatically sync your waypoint missions from one drone over to another, even on different controllers. Now, when you launch it for the first time, you will have to enable that feature. That'll come up right away when you go into your waypoint missions, or you can go into the settings on the controller and you can enable and disable it from there as well. Now there is a note there that unfortunately it's not available in the US currently. It just says temporarily, so I do believe it will be coming in the near future. Now I'll just show you quickly how that works. On my Mini 4 Pro last year, I created a Waypoint mission, but now if I go to the RC2 Pro, and I'm not gonna connect it to my aircraft yet, we're just gonna go to the camera view. If we go over to Waypoint missions, We'll bring up ones that are saved. You can see there's two waypoint missions that were created on this controller back in 2023. So they were synced over via the cloud. Now certain features may not be available depending on the capabilities of each drone, but definitely a really handy feature. The other thing to keep in mind is that you do have to have the controllers connected to internet. So if you're out in the field and you wanna be able to sync your waypoints, you will have to tether it to your phone. Now I'm going to switch over to the RC2 here because one really interesting feature that they've added to it is now a built-in flight simulator. That was actually one of the new features added to the RC2 Pro. They added a flight simulator that you can go in and do right on the controller and they've added it now to the RC2. So we can tap that button there at the top that'll launch the flight simulator and it has different training courses or you can do just an immersive flight. Now with the RC2 Pro, it gives you many different areas and different uh, maps you can fly in. But with the RC2, it just gives us one. It has skate park. And I'm just assuming that's due to the limited storage of the RC2. The RC2 Pro has 128 gigabytes of built-in storage now. So that's probably why they can add more maps, but they may add updated maps to this in the future. But the flight sim is actually quite good. Right now, it only gives us the option to simulate the Mavic 4 Pro. They may again add other drones in the future with future updates. But we can place our aircraft. Take off. And as you can see, it simulates just like you're flying it. It takes into consideration things like obstacle avoidance. As you can see, as I get close to this building here. You can see there it prevented us from flying directly into it. We can change our flight mode. We can go to cine mode, over to sport mode. It simulates battery life, RC strength, satellites. And with a future update, it's going to allow you to change your camera settings. We can switch over from photo mode to video mode. And it gives us some options that we can adjust in the settings for the drone. We can adjust button customization. We can adjust the gain and expo tuning, change our obstacle avoidance. So just a really nice way if you wanna practice your skills or learn to fly if you've never flown a drone before. It'll just help build your confidence before you take your first flight. Or if you're already a seasoned pilot, it's just a nice way to brush up on your skills and practice your maneuvers. Another update for the RC2 is support for the Mavic 4 Pro. So if you do end up purchasing it, it is fully compatible with the RC2 as well. So yeah, just a quick little video today going over some of the other updates that were released yesterday. DJI Fly app is updated and the RC2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.